This is the Integrated Math 1 practice test for TN Ready. Question number 21 on the 2019-20 test. The speed of sound at sea level in dry air is 70, dry air 70 degrees Fahrenheit. So the speed of sound is approximately 340 meters per second. Assume the graph correctly shows the distance a sound wave created by a loud noise at sea level has traveled after t seconds. Which set of numbers is the most appropriate to label the seven tick marks along the vertical axis? So let's take a look at how this data comes about. So we'll just make a table. And we'll put seconds over here, so time and then distance over here. In the first case, after one second, if we're assuming it's 340 meters per second, it's gonna be 340. For two, you do, essentially we'll end up with the distance is equal to 340 times T, because for each one second, it goes 340 miles. So at two, you just do 340 more, and that feels like 680 to me. 3 was 340 times 3, and ended up with 1020. 4, on and on and on. So 4 times 340 is 1360. And you can check those like in your calculator or whatever you want to do. I still have the old question left up. There we go. So if I was doing 340 times 4. So we just created a table, and for some reason this eliminated itself. I don't know what that deal was. Um, time and distance. We've created a table to where we can show the increased distance for each time that we go up, and that's 1360. So the one that matches 1, this one should be 340. 2 should be 680. 3 should be 1020. On and on and on. We're simply showing you, when you're given this input, what are the particular outputs. You had to come up with the equation yourself, but the equation was so simple that it didn't even have any um, constant term in it at all. It was just variable. This per second. So one second gives you this. Two of those will give you twice that. Three of those will give you three times that. So the answer, this is not the... The only part that I guess you would guess for A is you don't know what vertical means. Vertical means up and down. Horizontal is the other one. So um, and just be aware, this is the vertical axis. So this makes no sense. This, I think that they, oh, they used degrees Fahrenheit for some reason. And this one, they're just going up by 100 every time for who knows. So this is the correct answer. This is called a distractor because it has nothing to do with anything in this question, really, other than to re-identify dry air. But it's showing you meters per second. That's a distance and a time, so that's what you need to work with in order to get your final answer. So 21 is D.